Linked in the description is a 45-minute response to Inventam. It's a response to a bullet point of his argument that I got from someone who's been on my channels and stuff for quite some time, and so I trust this person. One thing that seemed strange was the contrast between the technology of Germany at the time and the architecture that seemed to come from the Middle Ages. It seems out of place. The ideologies of National Socialism and Marxism seem similarly out of place with such technology used by the main combatants of the war, the Soviet Union and Germany. Today, on the one hand, we have all of this technology. And while the influences for the U.S. state are eclectic, they are all mystical. It seems out to, on the one hand, marvel at the spontaneous order that happens at all levels of society that are free, and then demand some central authority prescribing answers in this other realm. The realm that assumes that this agency, the state you see, is somehow above the incentive problems that come when you grant some private firm a monopoly on law over a geographic area. This agency is said to be qualitatively different, but how? In what way? They're just men, like you and me. Oh, but we believe in them. Oh, so now if we believed in Coca-Cola, and granted Coca-Cola a monopoly on law and the violent enforcement of it, of property rights, uh, from land to pollution to consumer safety regulations, a monopoly on all of the things that need to be done in a complex industrial economy. What would you say to that? Well, you'd say, I, I, I was a crazy person, and rightfully so. But now, the U.S. federal government is different, you see. They have a document that promises they'll play nice. Coca-Cola promised they'll play nice. Oh, wait. And while every rock we look under, we find pestilence and rot, there was this time in the past when there was good government, government, good politicians who cared about principles and cared about us. Yes, an age of miracles, so to speak, during which the sacred text was crafted and the glorious monuments built. We also have voting, though it is rational to be ignorant. That is, each individual has little to gain by looking deeply into politics, and so it is rational for them to spend their time doing other things they enjoy and remain ignorant. Collectively, it makes sense for everyone to be informed, but it makes no sense for any individual to be informed. There's the conundrum. So the state should force people to be informed. Well, what does being informed entail? Who decides what must be known for you to be informed, and thus capable of voting? The state is to force people to learn the correct positions, or the correct dichotomy of positions, on issues? Well, if you say yes to something like that, now this is the totalitarian state that is consistent with the original rationale for a state, that the state knows better, can perform better, is qualitatively superior. There is no way around it. Support for the state ultimately has to rest on a bedrock of faith. To put it in a single false phrase, but this false phrase tells a lot, the anti-statist sees that there is no state, or at least there is no state as most people know it. When pointing out a problem, there is a call for intervention from on high, but there is no on high. The state is a firm. It is nothing more than a monopoly corporation, and if you tear down that presupposition, you will see the state revealed as firm. A rotten one with the corruption of power that comes from your faith. Drop it. Humans cannot self-organize effectively. An agency with presupposed authority, with a monopoly over land that interprets its own law and cases, made up of humans, can organize everyone else. This model originated independently in places like Egypt, 
Mesoamerica, the Andes, East Ethiopia, Mesopotamia, the Indus, and China. All of these states' authority was justified by religion, directly or indirectly. The best model for this agency, the state, today, is supposedly where the humans, who cannot self-organize effectively, choose their organizers. This is known as democracy. In this way, democracy defeats the whole point of the state, which was mystical to begin with.